Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make an inverter at home with very few components. All right, but first thing first, uh, this uh, video is dedicated to Johnny and Kami, my brother and my sister-in-law, which uh, they have the, the first baby today. So all the best to the baby. And once again, you don't need skills to be an uncle. All right, that make me now. So that's it folks all right then for the project of today we're gonna make an inverter uh, 12 volts to 220 volts with just a few components all right so let's start it the first component that we're gonna need is a MOSFET as you can see here in my previous video we did uh, do a bunch of stuff with it and the most important thing is this one. This is a board. Happy New this Year. This is an oscillator board. The next Basically, year what it does, it makes very rapid no process to drive Thank the MOSFETs you. and in turn, <laughs> it's going to drive our battery. So, we have the MOSFET, we have the oscillator. Keep uh, this one in mind, this is very important. And this is very easy to do it because you do not know how to do this oscillation stuff. You're gonna find a description in the link below. So the MOSFET, the oscillator, one transformer that we have a video where we did uh, take this one is from an old car charger. It was crap, but at least we got something good. And that's it, folks. This is all the stuff you're gonna need. On top of this, you're gonna need a 12 volt battery, or if you don't have a 12 volts one. We're gonna make one from 18650 cells, three in series, and we're gonna need another one to power the oscillation. The power consumption of the oscillation board is close to nothing, couple of milliamps. So we're gonna power it separately. So we're gonna power the oscillation board with the one cell, lithium ion cell, and the three of them is gonna power the, the transistor with the help of the MOSFET. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, a diagram as well to show you exactly how we're gonna connect it. All right, so let's get started. First thing first, the oscillation board. The oscillation board uh, has just three pins. This one, don't count this one, this is the spare one. We're gonna have, the first one is VCC, the middle is ground, and the third one is output. We're gonna connect our power supply, which in our case is gonna be one lithium ion cell, to the first two pin. First one plus, middle negative. And from this one, we're gonna connect the output and the negative, which is common, to our transistor. All right. All right, so. We said that the positive of the battery, which is one 18650 cell, is gonna go to the first pin, as you can see here, once again. Be very attention because this one is gonna be a long one. So positive is going to this one. I'm gonna connect positive to the first pin. Negative is gonna go to the middle pin. Here you go, middle, yeah? All right, so we have our first connection. Battery to the middle. We have one spare thing. We're gonna put this one aside. Now, we're gonna take the MOSFET. In this case is our trusted IRFZ44N, which we did make a lot of stuff with it. This one, it's got three pin. GDS, remember this, GDS. In a power, in a proper circuit board, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be G here, S and D, yeah? but in the actual real life is GDF. Drain, source, and gain. Yeah, gain, drain, source. Now, 
we're gonna connect the output of our stuff so the middle pin is gonna go to the drain to the gain sorry so the middle pin oh no the output the third pin is gonna go to the first pin of the MOSFET and the load is gonna be here on the middle pin so this one is gonna be plus and this one is gonna be minus all right we have here our 12 volts power supply in this case if you have a total battery that's even better okay how did you connect this one in series very simple so plus minus plus minus plus minus okay now the minus which is this one from this here is gonna go to this pin the plus which is gonna be this one is gonna be here and in the middle we're gonna put our um, transformer okay we got the transformer yeah the transformer has two coils input and output how do you tell the input is always thicker than the output or in our case you can see the brown and blue one which is standard to every country in this world so this is the output and this is the input normally uh, this transformer is a step down transformer so this one you plug into the main and it's gonna output 12 14 16 whatever but in our case we're gonna put it in reverse so we're gonna fill power to these terminals and we're gonna have an output on here okay so the transformer doesn't matter which pin it goes which is gonna go to the middle of the transistor the MOSFET transistor like so and the plus of our battery is gonna go to the other pin here you go folks here you go so the plus goes one terminal to the transistor the other terminal goes to the middle of the MOSFET transistor and we're gonna have to put one uh, crocodile clips from here to here all right folks so the last terminal is gonna go from here which is our negative terminal could be battery could be power supply could be anything to this terminal of the MOSFET right so and that concludes to our homemade inverter this is the cable look it's going here is no hidden wire so all right i'm gonna post some diagrams as well and as well um, it's gonna be the full project on instructables.com also the link below okay now let's power the oscillator with this one just one cell as you can see here it's got a tiny led i don't know if you can see it you see a tiny led that means the oscillator is running but we're gonna turn it off for the moment just prepare it now we're gonna take our three uh, 18650 cells so we're gonna connect them accordingly so plus minus uh, minus plus and again plus minus yeah because this is in series nothing can go wrong with it okay uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. all this stuff is connected is there is there is there the only thing that remains is to connect the the thing let's connect it okay okay Now we're gonna connect a 5 watts LED to the output of the transformer to be there, to be in place. Doesn't matter which pin it goes which, because this is gonna be pulsating DC, close to alternating DC. All right, very far apart, to not touch each other. Okay, so let's check 
once again the so plus minus minus plus plus minus yeah okay now fingers crossed and nothing happens what the fuck Hi everybody we are back we have a small technical problem so after the f these steps you have to bridge the negative from here to the negative of this battery if you don't do so you're gonna burn out your mosfet as i did previously so all the connection remains the same but before you're gonna connect the 12 volt supply and the oscillator part okay so i'm gonna tell you one more time before you're gonna connect the load and the oscillator part before you're gonna connect the batteries you have to bridge a wire from this negative to this negative if you don't do so you're gonna destroy your mosfet like i did it before so it's done but the rest uh, remain unchanged all right so now we're gonna connect the batteries the oscillator is running can you see the small light the battery is running and now because we have we did change the mosfet prepare yourself folks here you go Damn it! Here you go, friends. It's working. It's making a small beep, and the stuff is working properly. Yeah, success. We're gonna connect now a cable from the middle pin to the one side of the transformer. Here you go. It's making some beep, and the power is. I think it's bright, full brightness. Now we're gonna disconnect the bulb. It's not uh, humming no more. We're gonna connect another one, six watts. See? Change nothing. Yep. There you go. So this one is working properly as well. Yeah, I got a bad connection here, but no problems. All right, folks this transistor is getting a little bit warmer which is quite unusual but we're gonna try to compare it to the normal 2AN3055 here you go friends so it's working in the meanwhile share this product thumbs up subscribe you know the drill we got light and it's quite powerful yeah it's full brightness folks full brightness I don't know what's happening, but last night this one wasn't getting warmer, but now it does. So it could could be the fault on the transistor or whatever. We don't know, but we're gonna compare it to the to the older one, the two N three zero five five. In the meanwhile, all the best, happy new year, and see you on the next year with a new interesting project. No skills required. Out. Thank you. Hoo, 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 hoo.